Good morning, I am about to make myself an iced coffee. I swear I do this every single time I go to make an iced coffee. This little espresso cup is from Ikea and it's too small for a single shot out of my machine. And I've never had it overflow, but I always catch it right when it's just about to and it's gonna make a mess when I try and put it in this mason jar. I've actually had a few questions about how I make my iced coffee. I don't like sugar really, kind of. <laughs> You'll see my breakfast that I'm about to have, which is a bit of a random sweet treat. But when it comes to my coffees, I don't like sugar. So I just have this mason jar that I got from Big W it's got some ice in it and then I pour a shot from my machine top it up with cold water and then add a little bit of milk as well so I'll show you how I do that I am so impressed. I got one tiny drop of coffee and maybe a little bit down the side. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit under there, but that little mug is so hard to pour out of and I, I'm getting better at it. So um, I probably should just stop overfilling it. But um, yeah, this is my iced coffee. Like I said, I don't like them sweet, so I don't have any sugar or anything in them. It's just a little bit of milk, mostly water, because then it's actually not too bad for you. For my incredibly unhealthy breakfast today, I have a beautiful almond croissant. Thought while I was at the supermarket last night, I would treat myself to an almond croissant. I love almond croissants, um, but I'm probably gonna eat maybe half of it and then eat some fruit a bit later so I'm not just having like all sugar for breakfast. But um, yeah, I have my iced coffee and my almond croissant. Oh my gosh, I just ate a little bit. It's amazing. So I'm gonna chill out this morning. I wanted a bit of a slow start to today. I'm going to sit here in the morning sun and work on my to-do list. I just had a quick shower and I popped on some fake tan. This is the one that I've been using at the moment. It's okay. I really prefer, I think, the loving tan. I think the loving tan is my favorite, but I don't like tanning while I sleep. I like to do it during the day, so I prefer like the one hour express tans, but I do leave them on for a couple of hours. So if I now look quite dark, it's because uh, I have tan on. Anyway, to get on with the rest of my morning, it's bugging me that I have stuff on the floor in here that needs to be put away. I'm gonna make my bed and open the blinds because it's kind of dark. I did end up putting a little plant up here. So this is one of my cheese plants. Um, it just has one single strand of growth. I bought this like from Bunnings. He was really sad and only about two leaves big when I got him. And I was like, I'm gonna save him because he was the last one left. And he's been growing pretty well, except I stepped on him. So I had to cut it off and I've got the other one propagating. It hasn't got roots yet. And then it's actually got a new growth, which I'm very excited about. And I think he will do very well in here. I have a mask that goes into my sock drawer. I don't know why. I don't really know where else to keep my masks. Does anyone have a spot for their masks? I just put mine in my sock drawer. My jeans, my new jeans arrived yesterday. I'm very excited about this. These are the same as the white jeans. I did a campaign in December with Everlane and um, part of that campaign was they gave me a few different pieces of clothing and I selected some white jeans, but oh my God, they're the best jeans I've ever had. So I ended up buying them in the black because I love this bit on the back where the tag, I don't know if you can see it cause it's kind of dark, but it's like black like the jeans and then on the white ones it's white like the jeans and I love it so I'll have those linked in the description I'll also have a link to that other video if you want to see the other things that I had but I'm so excited that they're finally here and then the other thing I have on the floor is just my jumper because I was wearing this last night when I went out and do you know what I spy under the corner of my bedside table that I didn't realize was there I'm pretty sure that is an Easter egg wrapper yes it is oh my gosh how did you get down there and yes I can't believe it is January and they've already got Easter eggs on the shelves and I can't believe I actually bought some I'm just gonna keep going around in my room and tidying up and just putting things away where they belong. These are my little jewelry dishes. I put like hair things at the back down there. And then this is a bee dish from, what do you call it? Kiki K. I'll have that one linked in the description. I can't link this one because it's actually like the coaster of a mug set from years ago at Kiki K. But this is my, you know, little accessories spot and it keeps my room nice and tidy. I actually really like it. Oh, and this one is from H&M. I always get a lot of questions about it. Just don't know if you can get it anymore. I'm here 
here I might just uh, talk about my shorts because I might get a couple of questions from them plus I really love them and I just wanted to share them with you because I think they're so cute and so comfortable first of all love anything that's in like a sage color and secondly I got these from Cotton On Body the other day for like $10 on sale and I'll try and link them down below I hope they have more colors because these are the most comfortable little shorts ever they're probably my most worn pair of shorts at the moment they are like a little bit like see-through and that they have holes um, in the flower in a floral pattern but they do have these like bike shorts underneath but they are so incredibly comfortable and then my top is just like a high neck top that's also from cotton on I've had this for ages though I'm not sure if you can still get it but just super comfy clothes that I love to wear to work out in or just like when I'm hanging around the house also while I'm at it I don't ever really wear shorts and stuff and I really don't show much of my body and stuff online so if you can see here that I have like marking no it's not my fake tan it's an autoimmune disease called scleroderma morphia um, I've had it since I was about nine years old thankfully it doesn't really affect me but it does mean that all over this side of my body I have like pigmentation so it's uh, not very common, but I have found some other people online on social media who have it as well. So those are my shorts. Thought I would share them with you. And also, if you're wondering about all of the marks, that's my autoimmune disease. I feel like doing just a little bit of a tidy up this morning. So I did two loads of washing the other day when it was really hot and everything dried really quickly. But it just needs to be put away. So if you're wondering what I've been up to, I've just been hanging out in my living room, um, listening to Google, play me music, while I kind of dance around, tidy things up, and just hang out. It's a bit of a slow day for me today. I'm kind of taking the day off because I have worked like crazy for the last two weeks. I've been uploading like every Sunday and Thursday. I've been on Instagram every single day making content. I have these really cool morning moment reels that I've been making for Instagram if you want to go and check those out. But yeah, I've just kind of been hanging out here. I've been having a go at my new Rubik's Cube. How cool is this? It's like a gray scale Rubik's Cube that I got from Typo. I'll have it linked in the description. But basically, I want to get good at doing a Rubik's Cube. So I thought this would be like a fun project to keep me occupied, but I am actually kind of hungry. So I'm going to make like some tomato on toast. No, I do not own a bread knife, nor do I own a big enough knife to be able to cut this in a better fashion. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can create websites, blogs, and e-commerce stores. And it is the platform that I have used to create my website. I originally started with a blog, but I now have an e-commerce store. You could create a portfolio to display some of your work, or maybe you're a small business and you need a website. If you're someone who is looking at setting up an online store like I recently have, then you will love Squarespace's e-commerce capabilities. And they also now have new third-party tools that you can connect to help you manage things like your inventory, promoting products, shipping, and bookkeeping as well. So it's much easier to keep track of everything all in the one place. If you are interested in starting a website, then head to squarespace.com and start a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, you can click the link in the description or use my code to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Seeing as it's like my day off, I kind of thought I would have a nap and it was amazing. I love a good like middle of the day nap uh, and I thought I would show you that like whenever I sit on anything like the floor or the couch whenever I have fake tan on I always just put like a towel down this is just the beach towel of mine and that way it stops me from getting tan on anything so I am gonna go and wash off this tan anyway because it's been a couple of hours now anyway I haven't quite jumped in the shower yet I actually thought I would just have some fruit I've got um, pineapple and a kiwi fruit and then I've also just like finished editing a video and been replying to emails so I'm actually actually getting a little bit of work done even though um, I did say it was kind of like my day off. Yeah, I'm gonna eat my fruit, then I'm gonna have a shower, and then I'm gonna get ready and take you guys out for a girls night. <laughs> I 
I am showered and into comfy clothes so I can do my makeup. I switch between putting my makeup here in my bedroom or putting it on the couch and using the big mirror and then the mirror that I have in here. It just depends how I feel. Sometimes I just walk around to whatever mirror is available and I do my makeup. It's a weird habit process thing, but look, it works and I go with it. <laughs> Makeup is done and I am gonna get on with getting my hair done now. I don't really know what I'm doing. I went and saw Peter the other day, my hairdresser, and he did like a treatment and styled it. And I'm going to try and recreate what he did. Whether I can or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna be using a hair straightener and then this wonderful magical tool, which is from VS Sassoon. It's still like got the tag on it. I only got this a couple weeks ago, but it's amazing. It is a hair drying brush, so it blows hot air through here like a hair dryer, but it's also a brush so that you can kind of get that like blow out, blow wave effect sort of thing. So um, I'm gonna give it a go. I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest, but at least there's like a nice wave through my hair. It'll do. I need to go and pick an outfit and get out of here. Okay, I have no idea what to wear. It's not hot, it's not cold, which I mean, it's probably perfect weather. I can pretty much wear anything. I just think it might rain, which is throwing off what I might be wearing for shoes. Cause I have these like fabric boots that I want to wear, but if it's gonna rain, uh, I can't wear them. I don't know. I really should have thought about this beforehand. that I wanted to wear just like simple black and white I really like it with these amazing boots that I've not worn yet they're brand new but if it's gonna rain I don't want to wear them out because they're fabric I don't know what to do I'm gonna have to save this outfit for like another time I think when it's not gonna rain because like this outfit is amazing I have a feeling I'm about to just pull apart my entire wardrobe I'm going to try one other outfit maybe I don't know I'm just gonna try something else and see if I like anything better than what I'm wearing. Why are jeans so difficult to get on? I just realized my little fluff thing is like in the way of the camera lens, just a, just a little bit too much. That's better. Um, these are my new jeans that I was talking about this morning. I've still got the tags on them, but they are just such a nice fit. The best jeans ever. But I need to get out of this top because I'm getting too hot. Love this outfit as well actually. Top is from Cook Eye. I have a like khaki green bralette underneath it from Cotton On and to like tie in with the green, I've got these like green, like khaki green heels that I actually think look really good. On this foot, I just have my plain black slip on ones from Novo. I think they look good as well, but I actually really like this outfit. Okay. I really, really like this outfit. I just need a lint roller. My jeans just a little bit because I've got them all fluffy. Um, I have to take the tags off them because I still have the tags on them. But, like this is really cute too. But then I was thinking like the inverse and having white jeans with like some colored top. I don't know. I could go my one shoulder top. I do love this one shoulder top. I just don't know if I'm gonna be too hot in this because it's like long sleeves. It's light, but it's like long sleeved. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna end up making a mess of everything. Okay, here's another option. Black and white because I just don't feel like wearing too much color today. This is like a one shoulder top, but um, I think it'll look better tucked in. I kind of like this outfit too. I really liked the green shoes, but I think the black shoes look better with the white jeans and the green shoes. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time picking an outfit. And again, this happens every single time. Okay, I kind of tried one more outfit. It's a green top, white shorts, green shoes, but I think I'm just gonna go with the white jeans because one, they're the most comfortable thing that I own because the black jeans haven't stretched out yet because they're brand new, so I have to stretch those out. So I'm just gonna go white jeans because it's easy, I think. It better be, I don't know. I'm running out of time. Like I literally have to leave. <laughs> Different 
As usual, my room is a complete mess with shoes and clothes everywhere and I don't have time to clean it up right now. So this will be later tonight, possibly had a few drinks, Rachel's problem. Okay, I've got an outfit, it's good enough. This is the bottom half of my outfit. I got white jeans, these black heels from Novo. I've got my black YSL bag. I did put a belt on, this is from Supre. Not sure how I feel about the belt, but I don't have time. And then I just have my black one shouldered top. I just have gold jewelry for everything and um, just like some gold stud earrings. I will try and have everything listed in the description, but I need to run out. Like I said, I'm running late and I gotta go. Stupid outfit choosing, it just always doesn't go to plan. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I've included a lot of stuff that I don't normally include because I'm always getting requests to film other things in my life. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to see more of these like vlogs where it's just a little bit like not the organization and the productivity stuff. Ow, my contact lens. Eh. Anyway, if you want to see more of this stuff, um, just let me know because I do love filming this and I'm going to have to clean up my room this afternoon, which is not going to be fun. But anyway, up the top, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you in the next one.